confused because I don't see any comments from the YouTube. So I think I'm going to, oh, there we go. Sweet. Um, hello, everyone. I am just making sure that I can still see a little bit of your comments during the show because that's really what I missed last time. I'm so excited to be here with you. Um, I know it, it's a, a few minutes maybe before 7.30, but I thought I would just go ahead and you know, introduce the show and maybe start at 7.30 with a song. Um, this is a, would have been a live performance in Des Moines at the Progressive Voices series, in, um, at the, the series there. And right now, this is the, the last show of this season, um, and they are looking ahead to next season very cautiously, like we all are, just kind of trying to figure out what the game plan will be uh, for the pandemic or, you know, the in-between, you know, pandemic and no pandemic <laughs> that we're all in. Um, so yeah, um, I think I just want to dive right on in here. Oh my gosh, it's Larry and Ashley. And, uh, and I already saw some folks from the, from the YouTube stream over there. Oh my gosh, Laura and Jean and Lisa. Um, I'm so, so happy to be playing music for y'all and, and knowing, officially knowing that you are here in the room where it happens. We've been listening to a lot of Hamilton over here. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to start with this, this song. It always helps me feel grounded just a little bit. It's called 500 Crows. Today, I met 500 crows crowded in the trees in my front yard. On the bare branches, oh, they looked like leaves flying around. I was amazed. It sounded like a crow convention, like something big was going down. Or some kind of argument. Or maybe they were singing. And so I closed my eyes to better hear the crow chorus to see if I could catch the beauty in their sound. Oh, they were singing out loud, such a clear and pure emotion. I felt moved, not even knowing what their music was about. Part heartache. I am part joyful child. I am a grown up that's still growing up, and I don't always have it figured out. To tell you the truth, I'm still searching, trying to find that bigger light. I want to break free from all this suffering. I want to learn how to enjoy my life. So I close my eyes to better hear your heart beating. Cause in your arms I feel relief from the despair. I wonder No, today 
I met 500 crows. Oh yes, y'all. So, oh, hello, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, y'all, it's so great to see people I love and people I know that are um, extended family. I, I think um, just it feels so good to, to, to be with you tonight. And I'm just going to play a couple more songs to settle in here, some favorites, some, some songs that you, you really know. And um, for those of you who know me, this song is grounding song for me because it really it reminds me that there is so much more going on than we know and it is um, so easy for me anyway it can be very easy for me to think that I'm that my perspective is the is the correct one you know it, it's not um, so it's nice to get a, a bigger beat I guess If everything that you thought you knew was turned upside down, opposite from your point of view, and how would you feel if the ground was really the sky? And all of this time you've been walking when you could have been flying. forget how to love and take it for granted you can't expect to wear out people close to you and what if all the birds were flying just to show us and all the trees were really holding the sky up and everything that you to share a little bit really quick um, that, that as I was just singing that verse I was actually thinking about the one eyeball of the camera and how usually when I'm in a live performance you know I'm looking around at the different people in the audience you know if I can see if, if I can't see I'm just pretending <laughs> yes, but it, but usually I, I you know I can see people you know and, and even if it's a little bit dark and, and I look around and I make sure I'm not looking at anyone too long you know because I don't want to make them uncomfortable but I also want to include everybody, you know, that I can. And so, and, and, and it's just so weird for me because I'm like staring at you. You know, but you, you can look away. You can look away. And it's not that I'm staring at you because I'm really trying to just make my way around the room, you know? Anyway, um, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't really thought of it quite like that before. So, <clears throat> let me get back to this, this here song. Here we go. A thousand miles a minute You can't expect to wear out A few pairs of shoes If you forget how to love And take it for granted You can't expect to wear out People close to you And what if all the birds are flying Just to show us the trees were really holding the sky up and everything that you do matters in the end what if all of our mistakes are forgiven what if love is a lot of listening a little bit of we are caught up in a world of daydreams. What if loving what you have is everything? 
Anyway, so we're just going to keep on going here. This is a, this is a, a song that I really love, um, that I've been playing more lately. And uh, and it felt right to play it tonight. This is a little something called Red Light. It's about slowing down and really connecting to what matters. Um, yeah. Intent 
gosh, y'all. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I tell you what. <clears throat> so uh, I just noticed uh, Anne's, Anne's comment about being out of the box. I totally, you know, figured out um, how to make sure that my, my camera wasn't putting a little box around my face, which, you know, when I, when I rewatched it later, it wasn't as extreme as I felt like it was at the time. It really did feel, I felt, I felt boxed in. So now I am, I feel free. I feel free of the box. So I am going to absolutely give you, give you as much of that freedom as I can. <laughs> that feeling, you know, share that feeling with you. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a song that really, for me, um, is about landing, landing in things as they are right now um, and sometimes when I'm landing in a in, in, in things as they are it's a uh, it's different than what I want things to be you know it's like sometimes I, I don't know if you have that experience but there's this you know edge this like future me that I'm trying to lean into to and um, the future me is you know has has it all figured out I guess and um, and and the future me you know is uh, is healed and um, but future me is me now you know in terms of how much uh, I control I guess you know the control I have over future me is what I'm doing now to support the things that I want to inspire or grow in my life and so the dreamer in me wants to make it all happen now, but the, you know, kind of, there are a few steps, I guess. I just am really just talking now. I'm going to play this song, but this is, yeah.
start where you are. I say to myself, telling the truth is loving, even when it's hell. Start where you are. Stretch open your mind. Oh, that's how we'll come together. Oh, can we come together? Oh, there is a change coming on. Oh, there is a chance to wake up. What is going on? Start where you when I when I was ending when I was finishing talking about the song before I was playing it like there usually when I'm introducing that song I also mention um, that, that, that the song is really a, 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 an invitation to land the truth for myself of, of white supremacy and just the whole um, the healing work that goes into understanding and, 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 and being um, willing to engage in um, this anti-racist um, mindset, you know, just really to, and, and be, take it personal, you know, to really do personal work with it. And, um, and so, um, just to share with you, for those of you who don't know, probably so many of you already know, but I've been very inspired by the book, My Grandmother's Hands by Resma Minikam. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, it's, it's over there on my shelf, but, um, I, you know, I, I use it, um, you know, as a, as a resource that I go to again and again, as well as I've worked through it, but we've, you know, I have a group of folks that, that work, work with it and other resources um, together to just try and move through the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the, the swamp that we all are, I guess I shouldn't say swamp, that's not the right word, it's more ecosystem. You know, I feel like we're in an ecosystem that values certain people over other people. And and, and we're kind of taught and trained um, about that. And, you know, for myself, it's, it's just a constant learning to see differently, you know, to understand and not take it personal, but at the same time take responsibility for it. You know, that's a real tricky thing, isn't it? You know, to, to know that it's in me and it's and it's something that I need to and want to do, um, you know, out in the world to help make the place a safer, to help make our world a safer place for people who are different uh, than than um, what the mainstream thinks is, or not mainstream, but what our culture has held up as valuable. Um, so anyway, um, all that's to say, it's awkward to talk about and it's really awkward to talk about to a camera, <laughs> not actual people, you know, sitting in a, in a room. But uh, I, 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 you know, I think it's important to awkwardly talk about it. Um, so there I am. Uh, and, and, and while we're at it, why don't we go into this song? I think this is a good transition um, into the song because um, this is called Not Everyone Fits. And I really think it's true that we have all these ideas about, you know, how people need to be in order to belong. And gosh, I, I really, you know, there are a couple of those boxes I don't fit into. And, uh, and, and I think um, it's so important, I think, uh, to, especially for, um, the youngins, you know, as a mom myself, I want my child to have as few boxes as possible in terms of, you know, being able to just be free herself, you know, having limits, having boundaries, but being herself. And, and sometimes the boxes keep people from feeling like they can really live their lives fully.
this is a song that I co-wrote with my wife. Not everyone fits. Yeah. And um, I'll just quickly say, I'm, for those of you who don't know, I'm in a, um, a song a week project that is uh, a songwriting project that was developed by um, Carrie Cooper. And there are so many wonderful songwriters who are taking part in this challenge every single week for a year. We're writing new songs based on the same prompt that we're given each week. We're given a new prompt. And this particular prompt was prom dress, which for me <laughs> was, was challenging, just challenging prompt because I didn't really have uh, the prom experience. You know, I imagined it to be very different and so I didn't. listen to that so I mean, for those of you who uh, it can, it's movable songs are movable you can change the key um, gosh you know what maybe maybe I feel like this one's the next one to do um, I'm gonna play a, a few few new ones for y'all this is a song that I'm playing um, uh, for, for for Terry Sunflower this is a 
a, a song that that she really loves and and um, and so I decided I would and I really love it too I really love it too it's just it feels um, almost I did it so quickly I guess and so sometimes when you write a song quickly at least for me it feels like I'm, I'm like did that is that really right I mean I should probably rewrite it a lot more you know what I mean but I don't know I just like it how it is right at this moment so I'm gonna play it for you it's called um, kiss the sky and it's inspired by this idea, this, this quote, actually, that, um, that uh, Jimi Hendrix wrote that just about, you know, uh, don't mind me, um, it, I'm, I'm just kissing the sky, or something along those lines was the quote. And uh, oh, I just love that idea, you know, don't, don't, don't mind me, you know, I'm just going to be, you know, saying I love you life, um, you know, through music. So... I kiss the sky like Jimmy, shooting for the moon to find my starlight feet, dancing in my dreaming, letting go of everything. Can I be the sky like Buddha, whisper words that move the mountains in my heart, drifting land and sea, holies made of broken parts, what it is. totally I love it and I, I think it's true I think there's it's still some settling in to do for sure I feel like um, the songs that I'm playing you are the ones that that I, I want to settle into first um, but there are quite a few songs in the real women real songs project and maybe um, Terry maybe you'd be willing to, to give a link to that but the real women real songs folks um, have both a YouTube or yeah both a YouTube and a Facebook and an Instagram page and tons of beautiful songs beautiful writers beautiful artists visual artists too and we're all taking part in this project where we're writing a song or creating a piece of art every week and um, yeah and so this one just really it does feel really good there were some words I'm still trying I'm trying them in my mouth so like it's gonna be probably a little bit different next time you hear it even if I don't really do a whole lot of editing, I'm just trying to live music, live live performance is where I, I work out some of the details of playing, um, you know, in front of people. So I'm, I hope you don't mind. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do one more for you. Um, this is a, 
one more from for, from this project. Um, that one was the 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 prompt. I actually uh, I'm still I I kind of took out the bridge, the words in the bridge, but I left the music in the bridge because I kind of imagine when I record it that there'll be something there that's going to feel right, um, and I want to kind of clear my mind of the words, but. Um, in this one, I don't know what I was going to say, but um, this one is, uh, the prompt was junk drawer. And Terry and I also co-wrote this one. And oh my gosh, this, this, this song came out. And I just love it. And I hope, I hope you love it too. Um, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's called... Um, no message here. Yeah. There isn't any message, no message here. There isn't any message, no message here. Empty shoes, a whole house to clear There isn't any message, no message here We had our disagreements Things we couldn't work through I've been on a kind of mission Taking this time to find out any message no message here there isn't any message no message here empty shoes a whole house to clear there isn't any message no message here I've searched your rooms on every floor trying to find rhyme or reason I guess this was a puzzle box but it's just a junk drawer for missing pieces maybe I'm looking too hard for some kind of meaning I hope wherever you are you found your way out of the mess between no message here there isn't any message no message here empty shoes a whole house to clear there isn't any message no message here there isn't any message no message here You know, it's uh, I was thinking it might be kind of fun. Just tell me if you like this idea in, in the comments. Um, I was thinking maybe I would some point soon put together a set of all new songs and play all the new ones um, just to get myself to really learn them and consider them. Because <laughs> I think sometimes it's so easy for me to sort of put the, the new song away and work on the next song, you know, put that song away and work on the next song, put that song away. And before you know it, several songs down the road, I'm like, what was that song again? You know, and, and I would really love to get some of these songs in my body a little bit more. Um, I think if I were performing live, I would be doing that a little bit more often. But um, yeah, um, oh. so if you like that idea, you know, because it's, it's, I know you love the songs you love and you want to hear them, and I don't want to ever not play the songs you love. <laughs> There are so many songs. Uh, but you know, this would be a good time to play this one. This is a, uh, yeah, this is uh, <clears throat> a song about memory. It's a song that, that um, I, there's 
a song I forgot at the at the um, Wilcox weekend uh, performance <laughs> that I did just recently, and so I was like, I am going to relearn this forgetful song, a song about forgetfulness. Um, but uh, this is a song all about trust. You know, things things will come back around, and uh, and sometimes I think, you know, I don't know. I feel like I hold on too tight to things sometimes, and so maybe, maybe that's part of the reason why I'm forgetting. It's good dharma, you know. It's like life showing me, showing me the truth. <laughs> you can't hold on. I have a memory like a big fishing net. When things fall out, I tend to forget. But there is some advantage to a memory like that. I've learned to let go, and I'm. certain and I love I mean life is always that way right you know but it, there's hope there's there's you know grief there's so much happening um, right now and in the world that we're in uh, fear and um, and also you know um, a readiness to get back to things as they were but we can't really go back totally to the way things were so it's hard to figure out like well you know how how do we be here now, right? How do, how do how do we really embrace what's here now in in, in the in the most uh, responsible, loving way possible? And and I don't know. I mean, I I, I can't wait to get out there and do shows for you. Um, I'm thinking some outdoor things this this summer. Absolutely, I'm not sure about the indoor things in the fall and. You know, it's like, so I have to, you know, we're just taking things one step at a time, but I say all this knowing that um, there's this feeling of missing out 
you know, too, that I know I'm going to feel once all my friends start touring, <laughs> if I'm still feeling more hesitant. Um, and so it's like, I, I don't know, I just feel that wherever you're at, whatever is going on in your world, you know, I hope, I hope you can um, trust and know and feel that, that you're on schedule. You know, there's no, um, there's nothing going wrong um, with whatever's happening that you can, you can, uh, I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn this into something a little bit more, but I think maybe I'll just play you the song because I think it really, many of you know this, this tune. and you're saying you love this and um oh my gosh I am so so happy to see 
see you here and um, and just to share a little bit with you and to make a difference for your evening. I tell you what, it's music really is something, isn't it? It's a it's really a powerful, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It's like a it's an energy, but it's more than that. I feel like it's like there's there's a, it's a there's a physical healing quality I think to music that is really really good. And I'm, I'm so, so happy that I get to, to make songs and that you like them and you feel them and, and all of that. So um, thank you so, so much for being here with me. And I should mention that this is the Progressive Voices concert. I would be in Des Moines, Iowa right now if it weren't for COVID. So we're doing it online. Um, they are so generously uh, promoting this event and, 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 you know, making this a part of their schedule. Um, and I should say, and, and really it's, it's relying on donations from you. Um, so if you are interested in, in contributing to this show, if you can, that would be so fantastic. Um, and I just want you to know your presence here is absolutely so valuable. So, um, you know, that there's information there. If you have, have, um, something to contribute that you want to do, that and I will say absolutely yes bring it on and no pressure um, because I know how things are right now for everybody um, or for a lot of folks I should say not everybody but for a lot of folks uh, it's it's still hard um, so I also want to just um, mention that that Progressive Voice the series this is the uh, 11th season that they've been doing this so there are a lot of volunteers and a lot of folks who have continued over the years to make this series happen and so it will continue and um, there are links that I will be putting into um, the the comment section uh, if Terry doesn't do it first um, which are the links to their website or to their um, to their uh, Facebook page. You can find out more information about their shows that are gonna be happening in the fall, I'm sure, in some way, form, or fashion. If it's not in person, it will be for sure um, this way. But uh, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do wanna do this one next. I sometimes, sometimes disagree with my, my set list, but, but right now, this feels about right, I think. This is a, a song that I wrote for my granny, and um, man, oh man, I grew up in, in, in Texas, and every time I sing this song, it like puts me right back there just a little bit, um, so I'm with you, but I'm also slightly in Texas as I begin this song, but I'm hopeful that I'm here enough that you are able to think of and feel someone in your life who has made all the difference um, for you. My granny was like that for me, and... Um, How do you write a song for a queen? How do you find the words or the melody? Imagine a honky tonk coming, a symphony, or a pedal steel playing a Beethoven suite. Oh, how do you write a song for a queen? As a kid, you'd sit on your throne, and we'd fly down the highway in your Lincoln Continental. You saw the good in me, you said I was bright. I felt like the sun seeing myself in your eyes. You'll never know just what your love means. Did you know your royalty to me? Growing up in Texas, in that small town, no, I didn't fit in, so I kept my head down. 
I would run home from school, play cards with you again. We would laugh and cry while talking. You never know just what your love means. Oh, you are royalty to me. to say um y'all during that last little bit i i was a little distracted because my computer turned off which i thought i did all the settings for the computer to stay on and i wasn't sure if it would cut off the whole performance if it if it fit really shut down so um anyway so that's um just a little bit of distraction there but you know what that's what happens when you're doing it all yourself when you're the 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 you know videoer and the sound engineer and the Techie. Um, so thank you for, for being with me in it, in the learning curve. Um, so I, I, apparently there's another thing I need to do, which I haven't ever had that issue before. So something must have changed. Um, but anyway, needless to say, I am, uh, I'm going to play you a few, few more songs here. Um, maybe, ah, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll, 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 I'll switch gears and play since I'm, since I feel a little a need for Myrtle, I'm feeling a little bit of a call from the back. Myrtle is is calling my name. So Myrtle doesn't get to come out very often, but I have to say this instrument is just so beautiful and so wonderful to play. And um, so it's nice to have some songs that that um, that that fit. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, here we are. Together again. <laughs> to know what makes you high when you've been low do you have a problem you can't handle on your own together we are stronger than we ever are alone cause I got you and you know you got me we have so much going for us baby we got love and we are still young our world for the better oh come on yes do 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 
There's more to this life than seeing all the problems. We're gonna work them out. Oh, we are. Half the battle is changing how we fight. Remembering the love helps us see eye to eye. Cause I got you and you know you got me. We have so much going for us, baby. We got love and we are still young. We can change our world for the better. Oh, come on, yes. Do, 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 do. Don't hold back the hope you have in your heart. You were made to shine bright as you are. Put your hands in the air, feel the change. You are powerful. You can do anything, yeah. Do, 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 do. You and me, we can change the world. Do, 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 you and me, we can change the world, oh yeah, oh yes y'all, oh that's, that's, oh. so I feel move to play this next one for you because it really is about what matters and also about choosing love choosing choosing love ordinary love the title track from the album I released in 2020 the year where everything paused um, yeah. oh yeah love ordinary love do 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 love this is the time of our lives we are watching the tide come in and go out again love it's such a beautiful night walking here by your side well, there's nothing else i'd rather Show love, we don't 
don't you love ordinary love? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all. Myrtle. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Yes. Oh, so sweet. Um, so y'all, I absolutely love my music space. I have um, just created a, a world of happy, like a wall of happy really behind me. Um, and you can see the wonderful paintings up there. Maybe I can kind of let you see it a little, seem a little better, the prints um, from uh, Anne Getzinger from the Guest House album. There are the prints from uh, inside that record and every single day, you know, I just, oh. And then I've got an actual painting from Anne. This is a real thing over here that Anne gifted us when we, excuse me, had our baby shower. Um, and, and so for our baby shower, I got this wonderful Bonescape, um, which we used in uh, Break the Spell, one of the records. And um, so I come in here and I feel like, you know, there's a live painting, which to me, paintings are so cool. Like, you know, the, the feeling that you get from a visual, you know, that, that has depth and, 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 and you know, contrast. And, and there are subjects and objects and, you know, the way it all it works, the way the light works. And it just it, there's a life there, right? You know, and so like I don't really have much... Um, visual art talent or haven't cultivated much skill, but, um, but I really appreciate it. And so, so anyway, um, there's a watercolor pen uh, print that was just sent to me by the Moab, uh, the folks at the Friends of Moab Folk Festival folks, and, and also collabor in collaboration with the elementary school there, I did a, um, a songwriting project, and it, like a men mentorship or a internship or a um, residency is really what they call it, um, there at the elementary school and with the kiddos. And um, afterwards, they sent me a whole bunch of thank you notes, but then also this incredible piece of Moab, a little bit of Moab. So, and then I've got Moab over there too. You can see um, there's a really wonderful um, photo. But anyway, why am I giving you the tour of my room? Because Folks Fest poster, or just because it's behind me and you're looking at it. And I just thought maybe I would just share my album right here, Ricardo Levin's Morales. Yeah, just in a really beautiful, beautiful album cover. I just, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, so anyway, um, I'll stop there because you, I'm going to look and I'm going to see you. Oh my gosh, Sterling. Oh, so great to see you here. And oh my gosh, thank you so much, Terry Cook. Um, for, for, for being here and all of the folks here tonight. Um, I know um, I've, got, I've got a few more songs for you, um, but it just really feels very good to be here with you. And um, even, even in, this, in this way, in this online forum, um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I will go here. This is a song called Better Angels. And I think we have so much, um, so much going for us as humans. And then we have so much, so much, uh, there's, there's a lot of growth that, you know, I think we, we are doing right now. I'm hopeful that we're doing right now. I know, I know I am trying to grow. It's hard to try and grow, you know what I mean? It's like really, it kind of happens on its own. There is effort involved. I'm really talking like I'm here by myself now. So I'm gonna focus, you are here with me. We are here together. Okay. Maybe we are part reflection 
Maybe we begin somewhere Along a never-ending chain of light Repeat, reflect, repeat Here, right now Can we hope to find the truth The better angels of our nature
ever did go with that sea captain. I wonder how he's been. I hope he caught those songs out on the sea, swimming all around him. Ooh. I'd like to think he found an old guitar and this old singing all about him. you so much um, so just to, to share with y'all while I'm while I'm doing a little tuning here uh, the folks the folks at progressive concert series um, just so are so wonderful so many volunteers that help make it happen year after year and um, I just want to thank um, uh, Doug Apperly um, for for really spearheading the conversations with me and figuring out how to make that happen, um, this show happen. Uh, but also, I want to give a special thanks to Luis Alcorn, Mark Metz, Sandra Simmons, and Jack um, Hackett. Also, all of y'all for supporting independent music, supporting music uh, musicians who are traveling through, but also supporting the audiences that, you know, we, we really need each other. And I think, you know, in, 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 um, in times like these that we're in, where there's so much, there's so much uh, ease, or not ease, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's so easy to be separate. You know, it's so easy to, um, you know, be isolated and in and, and silos. And I think when people come together, for any reason, but I think in particular for folk music, <laughs> or music in general. But I, I, you know, there's something about being in the same space and you know, really um, being together in the same moment and um, and sharing that. You know, that is powerful, and and we need it. We're we're uh, herd animals. I don't think we're we're solo animals. Anyway. Um, yeah, so let's see here. I'm going to play a couple more songs for y'all. Um, I want to thank you again so much for spending whatever time you're able to spend here with me. Um, I absolutely uh, feel, feel connected to you and um, so happy to be able to share a few songs tonight. this one next. I, I, I'll do two more for you. I'll do um, this this tune right here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so happy Carolyn and, uh, and Anne. Um, all of y'all for being here. Yeah. This is a Share to laugh in a 
high in the beauty of the day. The beauty of the mountains. kind of show I saw a dancer in the back smiling through her tears she looked like a rainbow that had stepped out of the sky to dance and everyone else was facing me was she real or was she Talked to her after the show and she said life goes faster than you know when you are young. You must dance and sing every chance you get. Meet your life every day like you are in love. Be in love with your life, child. pocket there's a map well really it's a blank piece of paper let's take a walk let's wander together while we still have time before the sun goes down the sun always goes down surely you and I can have the finest adventure I have a map. You've got a dream if you want it. I've got a dream too. Let's share our dreams. Let's dance and sing together. This is our life. The sun is rising before the night falls. I want to love you better and better and better and better. I want to love. Yes! Hello, Canada! <laughs> oh, yes. I did, I did play right on time for you. Um, so you can, you, can, uh, you can look back. You can, you can scroll back through the show after it's over. It'll, it'll save for a little while. Anyway, um, absolutely. Uh, yeah, be in love with your life, child. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I thank you so much, everyone, um, for your presence, for your love, and um, and I tell you what, I um, I am super super hopeful that we can all see each other very soon, um, and uh, in the meantime, I will do another one of these shows soon with the new tunes for y'all, and, um, and I won't, I won't be a stranger, so, <laughs> I don't know where that came from, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll play one more, more song for you, one more song, this is, a. Uh, you know, the song I often end with, or I, I kind of always end with nowadays, um, this is just a song that feels full of love and, and, and full of um, radical uh, acceptance. It's more like joyful 
um, you know, knowing that we're connected even when we're apart. And, and so that I think that goes for people that have passed on. I like to feel that that connection is still there. It's just different. And so it's a way to kind of tap into that with my the people that I love who have passed. But also, I think it, it feels like connecting to the people who aren't in my life currently right now who are, you know, still here, but I haven't had a chance to connect with. So kind of all those things kind of tie in together. And, uh, and yeah, I feel like that's a nice way to, to end the evening. So I want to thank, uh, again, the Des Moines uh, music loving organization, um, Progressive Voices, for helping this show happen. And um, I look forward to seeing y'all in person sometime. This is a little something called Wherever You Are. Yeah. Oh
Oh, thank you, Ashley. All of you. Oh my gosh. You are so, so welcome. And I hope whatever is going on in your world that there is tenderness and love and um, joy and some hope and um, and friendship. I certainly feel feel your your friendship here tonight. So I just want to thank you so so much. And um, maybe with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> and I'll I'll definitely be checking my messages here in a little bit. Thank you.